66 million years ago, an asteroid the size of Mount Everest slams into what is now Chicxulub, Mexico. If you had been in the southern parts of North America 66 million years ago, you likely would have been blinded by a brilliant glowing light, then deafened by an incredible blast, and then hit by hot material falling from the sky, and potentially hit by incredible tsunamis traveling across the Gulf of Mexico. The asteroid creates the Chicxulub Crater in the Yucatan Peninsula in modern-day Mexico. It covers almost 10,000 square miles and is 12 miles deep. The dust and debris spewed into the atmosphere block sunlight for years, condemning the dinosaurs to extinction. This was a bad day in the history of the Earth. The demise of the great reptiles, the dinosaurs, and more than 75% of everything else that was living on our planet. While the Chicxulub crater lies beneath the sea in Mexico, this body of water 3,500 miles to the northwest hides other secrets. Crater Lake is located in the state of Oregon in the heart of the Cascades. It's about 22 square miles on the surface. The widest part is about six miles across. One of the things that makes Crater Lake world-renowned is its remarkable color and clarity. It just has this just really unique, vibrant blue. There are no rivers or streams that lead into the lake, so the only thing that supplies its water is rain and snowfall. Crater Lake is one of the snowiest places in North America, and snow melt from the Cascade region provides water to four states. Remarkably, though, Crater Lake never overflows. Its water level only varies by about 16 feet a year. The reason why the lake level itself stays fairly constant is the amount of precipitation in is about equal to the amount of evaporation out of the lake itself. Crater Lake isn't just clear, it's deep, plunging to 1,949 feet in places. It's the deepest lake in the United States. Why is it so deep? Because of a geological event that no one would guess from the lake's name. Crater Lake is fascinating because it's a misnomer. It's not actually a crater. If the lake isn't a crater, what is it? To answer that, we must unlock something that is no longer here. If you point with your arm pretty much at a 45 degree angle, you're basically pointing at the summit of where Mount Mazama once stood. Mount Mazama, a stratovolcano more than 11,000 feet tall, starts to grow half a million years ago. The way a stratovolcano forms is uh, eruption after eruption builds layer upon layer upon layer. Then, some 7,700 years ago, a gargantuan magma chamber beneath it explodes through the mountain. A column of gas and volcanic rock is ejected high into the air. Hot ash flows down its flank. It is the greatest eruption in a million years. This eruption was absolutely devastating to the nearby landscape. All of the valleys around Mount Mazama would have been filled with approximately 300 feet of ash and pumice. You can imagine how it would have devastated all of the agriculture in the area. What happens next shapes what we see today. As the magma chamber empties, support for the mountain is lost and the once mighty peak collapses in on itself. So Crater Lake is really a caldera, a collapsed volcano that slowly fills with water. Does that mean Crater Lake is concealing the building blocks of another cataclysmic volcanic eruption? Another eruption on the size of the climactic eruption of Mount Mazama is highly unlikely just due to the amount of magma which is available. But if it were to happen, it would be 
catastrophic to the nearby region.